coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. This is Dustin with CoinOp. Today, we are going to be going over uh, 1980 through 1989 uh, varieties that you should be searching for in your pocket change. Now, this is just the top five varieties that I came up with. There are plenty of varieties that you should be searching for in the 1980 through 89 series. There's a whole lot of them, a bunch of them, some really nice double dies, a whole lot of just really wonderful things in the entire series. So this top five, I did just a little bit differently. I went with a few uh, popular varieties and then I went with some that are not really that um, as well known, but should be. So uh, let's dive right on in. First of all, we are going to start off with the 1983 Double Die Reverse. This is listed as DDR-001. Uh, this is one of the more popular double dies in the entire Lincoln Cent series. The 1983 Double Die Reverse is listed in just about every single guide or price guide that is out there, including the Red Book. Now, an extreme spread shows on all of the reverse devices. This is a top five double die in the Lincoln Cent series. This is a class four double die and it's an insanely popular double die. Everybody loves this one. Now values on this one range in uh, lower grades and circulated condition from $40 up to about 120 in circulated conditions. And uncirculated examples can trade anywhere between $160 up to $380, more so for much higher, nicer graded examples. We are moving on to a 1983 Double Die Adverse. This one is listed as DDO-001. Now on this variety, doubling shows on Liberty and it also shows on In God We. I'm not gonna see it so much on Trust, but definitely on In God We. And of course it does show on the date as well. Now this one is listed as a class five double die. If you do happen to find one of these in circulated conditions, values on them tend to trade between $5 up to $20 and uncirculated examples tend to trade between $25 and $50 and more so for much nicer, higher graded examples. So when you are looking at the reverses of your 1983s, looking for that uh, monster 1983 double die reverse that I just showed you, Make sure you turn it over if it's not the double die reverse and check and make sure it's not a double die adverse. Okay, we are moving on to another very popular variety. This is a 1984 double ear variety. This is a class four double die. This one is listed as 1984 DDO-001. Now doubling on this variety shows on the ear most definitely on the ear, the back of the head, the beard, and on the bow tie. Now, if you happen to find one of these while you are coin searching, uh, these tend to tend to trade between $35 up to $100 in uh, circulated conditions. And uncirculated conditions, ones that have not been circulated, they tend to trade between $150 up to $300. Once again, this is a very popular variety, just like the 1983 Double Die Reverse. The 1984 Double Ear is another one that everybody seems to know and is a, one that is highly sought after. It's a very popular and very desirable variety. It can be found in every single searching guide or price guide that you will come across. Okay, now we are taking a look at a 1984 Double Die Adverse. Once again, this is another double die for the 1984. This one is listed as DDO-002. Now this one is a class two and a class six double die adverse. Um, this one shows as a distorted doubling on the entire adverse. So as you're looking over it, just take a look at some of these photos, you'll see that you can clearly see doubling in God We Trust, Liberty, the date. You can see it on everything. Now, if you happen to find one of these, examples tend to trade between $20 up to $60 for circulated ones, ones that have been in circulation, and uncirculated examples tend to trade between $70 and $150, and more so for much nicer, higher graded examples. 
we are going to finish this video with our number five spot. It's actually two coins in the number five spot, but they both feature the exact same thing. If you collect any of the uh, wide AM or close AM varieties in the Lincoln Scent series, then this is one for you. Now in 1989 is when they started to use the wide AM reverse. Well, in 1988, both on the 1988 plane, the Philadelphias, and the 1988 Denver Mints, both of them uh, have wide AM varieties. Now the 1988 wide AM varieties are much more scarce. They're gonna be a lot tougher to find. If you do happen to find one of these, currently looking on PCGS, they have a population of eight. That's on PCGS. I don't know about the other coin grading companies, but I know PCGS only has a population of eight and they say they trade in between $200 and $400. So that's what I could find on that. Now, however, the 1988 Denver Mints with the wide AMs are a little bit more plentiful and they tend to trade between $20 and $50 if you happen to find any of those. Now, what had happened is somehow some of the 1989 reverses got mixed in with the 1988s and uh, they got printed and ran. So make sure you check the reverses of your 1988s. Look for that wide AM, complete your wide AM and close AM sets. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope it gave you something to look for, something a little different when you were coin searching your Lincoln Sense. If you would like to help our channel, you can do so by hitting the thumbs up button. The more you hit the thumbs up button, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content with more and more people. And of course, please subscribe. Love having you as a subscriber, so make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. Uh, if you have not been to our website, it is varieteyerrors.com. Once again, it is varieteyerrors.com. Now, if you do go over to the website as of tonight, there is a link for a book that I have written on uh, it's a coin guide on modern Lincoln sense. So 1959 till current, I have a whole bunch of different varieties listed with images that uh, you can coin search for, along with estimated values. And you know, the, the whole kit and caboodle. So if you own uh, cherry pickers or strike it rich with pocket change, it is very similar, just with a lot more varieties in the Lincoln Scent series. So there's just a lot more stuff for you to look for. Now, the book will be available May 6th, which is my birthday. But if you would like to pre-order it as of today, the link to pre-order is available. If you do pre-order, you will get an autographed copy as soon as they come off the press. So... They are estimated to be done May 6th. If they happen to come a few days before, you will get them early. If not, you will get them the, as soon as they come off. On our website in our sales spot, we do have, you know, my book. We do have a few other things on there. Um, we have some kits, you know, collector's kits. and We do have a beginner's guide on there that's a PDF that you can uh, download and view. We just have all kinds of stuff. So make sure you go check out the website. Now, you can always find myself or Robert Lawson in the CoinOp group on Facebook. Uh, so if you'd like to join up, join in the fun, talk about coins, share some images of coins, ask questions, learn. It's a great place to do that. I know we are, I think we're a little over 2,400 members on there currently. So I will post a link to that down in the comments. And once again, we'd like to thank you for your view and have fun searching.